Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be learning how to hit the stinger shot. So important to hit the t cool. fairway here and that was that little stinger. So a couple of months ago I did a video on how to use the plumb bob technique and I actually learned how to use this myself from Dan Hendrickson's videos and also Mr. Short Games. So I put a link in the description and also up in the top corner here if you did want to check that out. It was um, pretty successful video and it's doing really well so I thought I'd do a similar video today on how to hit the stinger shot from GM Golf obviously massive on YouTube and also Zach Radford both these guys if you haven't checked them out already, hit amazing stinger shot. We're going to um, go into some of their videos on step by step how they hit the stinger shot and see if we can try and pull off some of those nice low shots that you've all probably seen Tiger Woods hit in the open. Woods zipping one down here. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to really try and learn how to hit it. Alright guys, so I'm going to hit three with my four iron just normal shots to see how high it goes and then hopefully we can see how high the stinger goes if I managed to pull it off. Okay, so how high did that go? 71 feet. Two good swings there. 79 feet, a little bit higher. A little bit thin, probably be a little bit lower. Seventy feet. So the average height of my normal four iron is about seventy-four feet roughly. So now we're gonna move on to GM golf's four steps of how he hits a stinger. So Garrett, probably one of the best guys on YouTube that's able to hit the stinger. Um, I'll put a video just here on his four steps. It's always weight forward. If you're not having your weight forward, it's not gonna go low. I feel like I'm staying over the ball. So move the ball just a little bit back if I'm trying to hit it extra low. That will uh, saw off my fall through. And that's just to basically like. So step one is weight forward. Step two, move the ball position back. Step three, feel like you're on top of the ball and you're swinging in the barrel. So you stay over the top of the ball, you don't weight shift. And then step four is abbreviated follow through. So all quite simple steps. So I'll hit a few of this, see if I can pull the stinger off. So I'm moving the ball position back a little bit. So in maybe like a six iron position, weight forward feeling like I'm on top of the ball, and then abbreviated follow through. Uh, didn't hit that one great, but it's about half the height. I wouldn't quite class that as a stinger. I reckon 30 feet would be a stinger. Get down in the comments below what you would class as a stinger. What height in feet do you think it needs to be? So weight forward, ball position back, stay over the top of it, and then low finish. Mm, I'd say that's not far off. Not far away being the stinger. 28 feet. Let's try and get one a bit better. I haven't quite struck one yet. So weight forward, ball position back. Best strike, I think that's too high. I would say that was too high for a stinger. Yeah, 38. So average height with Garrett's step, so GM Golf, 31 feet as opposed to my normal four iron, which is 73 feet. So let's learn how Zach does his stingers. And I would say, if you haven't checked his channel out already, 
some of his stingers are amazing. This camera angle and how he hits them into the greens. So I'll post his step-by-steps in a second so you can see those. The first thing you want is good ball position. I typically put the ball in the middle of my stance when I use the four iron. Have 60% of your weight on the front foot. No tension in your forearms. I want to be swinging down and to the left. Is to have kind of an abbreviated follow through. So step one from Zach Radford's steps is to have 60% on your left side. So similar to what Garrett's saying. Um, step two is to have the forearm in the middle of your stance. So that's a bit further back than where Garrett was saying and where I've been practicing. Um, step three is to have no tension in your forearm. So have it, so have it all nice and loose. Hopefully so you don't drop the club. But uh, yeah, so nice and loose. Step four, uh, swing down. So down and left and rotate to make sure the club face squares up. Otherwise, you're going to miss it straight right, he's saying. So we'll try that. And then the same as what Garrett's saying, low abbreviated follow through. Okay, so first of all, ball in the middle of your stance. Weight 60% forward. So not quite as much forward. And then loose forearms. So I might do a couple of waggles just to stay loose. And then swing down, down and left and rotate. So let's give that a go. Loose forearms. Okay. That's definitely come out lower. I'd say that was definitely much more of a stinger. That one did actually come out at 21 feet. So let's see if we can get one below 20 struck. So ball in middle of the stance, weight forward, loose forearms and swing down and left and rotate. So we'll try and do this. Loose forearms. Not far off, a little bit, a little bit heavy. I definitely think that Zach's steps, maybe they're a little bit more complicated, but they definitely produce more of a lower ball flight. Because that one, I did fat it, but it was 20 feet. One thing I'd like to see is if they come into a hands ahead or if they release it. I might try two of each. I'll try coming in hands ahead. See if that does it and then release. Let's have a look. Hands ahead with this one. Wait forward. Ball back in the middle of the stance. Oh, that might be the way to hit it. So don't release the club. Keep hands ahead. Oh, if Trapman didn't keep crushing. It might be because I haven't got the bloody light on. That might help. Forward. Maintain the angle, swing low and left, stay on the left side. Yeah. Okay, got it. What's that? A twenty-one point nine. So guys, I hope this video has been interesting. I th personally think Zach's steps are probably a bit easier to try and get to the stinger ball flight. However, I think if you mix both his and Garrett's steps together and also make sure you feel like the hands are in front of the club face and not allowing the club head to um, release as much, seem to really get that stinger ball flight. So I'm gonna work on it a bit more. Um, I don't want it to mess up my full swing because um, I definitely feel like I've got so much weight on the left side now. I have to be careful with that, but it's a good shot to know, especially when you're playing in windy conditions. So guys, have a go yourselves. I'm going to link both of the videos um, that I watched from GM Golf's channel and Zach's channel in the description below if you wanted to check those out. And uh, yeah, let me know how you get on. Um, but thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And please don't hesitate to subscribe down below. I'd be much appreciated if you did. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.